Hello, my name is Marisol, and today's Make It Craft is going to be this velvet ribbon bookmark based on a book that our book club is actually reading, which is Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. Today I will be using Craft Fantastic Small Pendant Squares, which has an image space of three quarters of an inch. I place my vintage cover art on a document with a red background to prevent any white space on the edges. I'm going to make sure I remove the constrained proportions so that I get a nice square image. When I print it, I'm going to be sure to print using a color laser printer, which will prevent my image from bleeding when I use a water-based glue to attach the glass. I will be printing this on photo glossy paper. Using Craft Fantastic glue to attach the glass to my image, I will be using the glass to remove any air bubbles underneath so I get a nice tight fit. I will use Craft Fantastic's Jewelers Dots which is a dry adhesive. It's important to keep the dry adhesive on your pendant tray because any kind of a wet adhesive will allow warping of the paper image. Once the image is dry I will be sure to trim any excess from next to the glass so I get a nice tight fit on that pendant tray. Once my image is dry and trimmed I will take my pendant tray and take my glass and place it in the pendant tray and within 24 hours I will have a permanent seal. The finished size of my ribbons will be eight and a half inches so I'm going to trim it just a little bit longer than that so I have room to fold the edges over. I will take the edge, I will fold it over I will get, grab my ribbon clamp and I'll make sure that the serrated edge is on the back of my bookmark so that the front will have a nice smooth finish. I'm going to tighten it with my fingers, center it to the ribbon, and I will grab my jeweler's pliers and I will use that to crimp the clamp shut. And now it will stay firmly in place. I will take my pre-assembled crystal charms. These are just little accent charms that I'm going to use on the other side opposite the photo charm. Put them together along with my jump rings. Since I'm making about a dozen of these, I want to make sure to open my jump rings before I start assembling the bookmarks. So I open the jump ring by taking two jeweler's pliers and then just twisting enough to get the jump ring open. Then I thread one end of the jump ring through the ribbon bookmark using pliers and I will attach the crystal charm. I use the other pliers to close that jump ring. On the other side of the ribbon bookmark I will attach my photo charm that we assembled earlier using again a jump ring, pliers, and and here are finished bookmarks in the red and black velvet with the photo cover art from the book. What I really like about these bookmarks is that it's just kind of a reminder of the book that I'm reading and just a nice little reminder of our book club. So I hope you like this craft and please make sure to leave any comments, questions in the comment section and please subscribe to our the Make It channel. Thank you.